played so many games last year for a great organization. You didn't come off the field, and then you get rewarded by coming to this franchise to help as a trusted player. How's that responsibility feel? Honestly, it feels it feels really good. I mean, you know, from my my journey, it's kind of always been you know just being the underdog from you know being a walk on in college to six round pick. So, you know, I really felt. It, it felt like this off season, like all that hard work was was coming together, and you know, it's 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 a blessing to have this opportunity. Um, that this this organization, I mean, storied franchise, they 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 see that trust in me, and and for them to come get me, it, it felt really good. Do you consistently remind yourself about that journey to keep that that fire burning? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I always want to have that chip on my shoulder. Um, I always want to feel like I have something to prove. Um, you know, I never want to be complacent. I always want to keep that hunger and keep that drive and keep keep working and striving for more. Yeah, it seems like the Raiders have a bunch of guys like that who's had to overcome adversity. Talk a little about last year and how uh, each week you have to play at your best. Uh, each week you have to get that secondary kind of in the perfect position to make those plays. Talk to us about the journey, the, the successes, and some of the failures. Yeah, you know, it was a really fun year last year. Obviously, it didn't end the way um, we wanted it to, but, you know, had a lot of fun playing football with that group of guys. And, you know, it's like you said, I mean, in the NFL, it, it's a week-by-week -week thing. Um, you know, whether you won the, the week before or you lost the week before, you got to, you know, stay level-headed. You can't, you can't look too far in advance on the schedule. You can't look in the past. You got to bring that same fire, that energy each week. Um, and you know, be prepared, or you can lose any any given Sunday. So, you know, you got to kind of um, have that. Just stay here, stay even keeled throughout the season, stay focused, and, and keep working each week. We're uh, watching a couple of your plays here on the B roll, making it deep in the end zone behind the line of scrimmage. How do you describe your play, the the running game, and especially being on the back end and being a ball hawk at times? What's the best description of the style you play? Um, for me, I like to think of myself as a, a, a pretty versatile DB. You know, I feel like I can play free or strong. I feel like I can slide down in the slot and play nickel if I ever needed to. Um, but that's just, you know, that's that's for my work ethic in the off season of just always trying to sharpen my tools, sharpen my skill set, so that, you know, anywhere I, I'm asked to play on the field, I feel comfortable. Um, whether it's in the box, whether it's deep in coverage, low in coverage in the slot, you know, I want to feel comfortable. So, you know, I make sure to put that work in um, in the off season to always sharpen my skill set. How much have you uh, uh, embraced that leadership role also in that in that secondary room now, being brought in as a free agent? Yeah, it's been cool, man. Honestly, you know, coming in, I just wanted to make sure that I was being myself. You know, first and foremost, I wanted to make sure I was really getting to know the guys and making an effort to get to, get to know everyone in the room. Um, you know, and then I feel like, I feel like that that leadership comes. It, it's got to come naturally. Right. You know, I didn't want to come into the room and try to like really force it. I just wanted to, you know, develop those relationships and you know be a part of the group. Um, so you know, so far it's been it's been going really good. Um, everybody's been very welcoming. Um, I think we got a real good group of guys. So I'm excited to see what we can do this year. Man, you're always around the ball. I mean, it just <laughs> you, know, you pop on the film. You're always in the right spot. Always around the ball, uh, and it's not easy. Right in this league, because everyone's looking at you as far as opponents checking film out. How are you able to stay consistently around the ball? Uh, I think it's just film study. Um, you know, you got to each week, you got to make sure that you're prepared. I mean, if, if, if you can come in prepared, if you know what the offense is going to do, it makes it a lot easier out there. Um, so I think that's what I would attribute to the most is film study. Yeah, so to follow up, uh, what, are the, what are the steps? Did you come into the league like that? When did you learn it if you didn't? And how have you continued to do that? Um, honestly, I feel like that's been one of the things of, you know, as a young player, it's kind of like sometimes when I was young, I would feel myself watching film, but kind of be like, <laughs> what am I watching? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't really know like what I'm watching, what I'm picking up uh -huh. on. Um, you know, I feel like the last two seasons is when I've really gotten into a good, a really good routine of, you know, watching cutups, um, knowing what I'm looking for, whether it's play action pass, boot, third down, um, things like that. You know, my, my previous DB coach, um, Denard Wilson, he helped me out a lot with that of just, you know, how to watch film, um, the certain ways to put on the tape, how he did it. And, you know, I've kind of just, the past two seasons, I've stuck with that, have my routine now, and it's helped me out a lot. Yeah. You know, Marcus, I was excited when they brought you in quickly because it's a need. Mm -hmm. And there's some good players here, and you're going to mentor some of them. But 
Patrick Graham needs someone like you to kind of flip this thing quickly. We just had Max on. He's fantastic. And Chandler Jones, Tyree Wilson goes number seven overall. Robert Spillane comes in with the green dot. But you're really important because this thing's got to change. There's got to be some interceptions, some fumbles, take it back the other way, and get that angry defense going. You just played on one of those defenses. What was that like? What can you bring to this organization coming off your recent success playing on a defense that was just flat out nasty? Honestly, I think a lot of that is it's, it's really just a mindset. And, you know, it doesn't it doesn't just happen in the games. It starts in practice. And I feel like, you know, right now it's early. Right. But I feel like we've come we've come in with a good mindset. You know, I've seen the improvement you know, day in and day out of, you know, guys really making an effort to, to learn the defense, um, to get more comfortable with the different coverages that we're running. So I think that's where it starts, right, of just knowing, you know, how you can play different coverages um, and whatnot. And then from there, it's just a mindset of bringing that, that attitude um, each and every day in practice of, you know, I'm going to go get the ball. So, you know, once, it, once you start doing that, it just becomes – becomes habit and um, you know good things start happening in the games you know you talk about you you see it developing you see it getting better there was a play I think last Thursday maybe in OTAs where a ball was tipped it dropped to the ground and two plays later a ball was tipped and I think Trayvon Merritt came away with it and took it the other way is that part of the the conversations even being had in the secondary room like get to that ball you got to yeah. get to that ball yeah definitely and that's what you know PG's been talking about it a lot um, coach Ash Simo you know they've all been talking about you know getting our hand on the ball um, you know and just going out there and making plays you know that's what what they're trying to do with the defense this year is give us a little bit more freedom um, on the back end to go make plays so you know I'm really excited about you know how we're taking those steps every day um, and, you know, I'm really excited about what we can do this year. Yeah, I'm looking at the list here. You know, Chris Smith comes in at Georgia, winning the titles, and I see USC, Miami, and then Wyoming, right? So take us through the transition from high school to college. You talked about your situation here. You've had this chip for a long, long time. What was the big moment for you in either high school or college where you thought, yeah, I can do this, I could be a pro eventually? You know, as crazy as it sounds, it's – you know, I've always just felt that way, you know, just since I was a kid in, in Pop Warner, man, I've always just, you know, had that thought in my mind, like, you know, this is what I want to do, so I'm going to make it happen. Um, and I've never let anybody, you know, deter me from that from that mindset. I've never let anybody, you know, I've never let anybody else's expectations of me come on to me. I've never let anybody else's disbelief in me change the way I feel about myself. Nice. Um, so, you know, I've just from there, I've just always kept it going. I've always made sure I put the work in, and, you know, I've just continued to get better. So That's that California cool, JT. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's the California, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, EA, <laughs> well, it's interesting because you played with Jerome Brown and Reggie White. Yeah, You're one of the yeah. great Eagle defensive backs of all time. What I love about this – situation here we're going to ask you about the legends who played here mm. so lester hayes yeah and you look at the defensive backs mike haynes and then the safeties who have played over the years charles woodson was yeah. having a conversation with george atkinson the other night about jack tatum mm -hmm. and charles the michigan legend who was from ohio yeah. was hearing george talk about jack so you hear about jack tatum and the players that were around that alumni weekend did that yeah. resonate with you who have played in this defensive backfield over the decades? Yeah, definitely. And then even, um, you know, last Thursday when we had that, that alumni dinner yeah. and just, you know, hearing, you know, all the guys talk about, you know, the history of this franchise. I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of culture here. Um, there's a lot of history here of, you know, winning. And, you know, I mean, it's one of the most storied franchises in the league for sure. So, you know, it's just it's a blessing to be able to, to be able to play for this franchise, especially being an LA guy, I know how many, how big uh, the Raiders fans are back yeah. home. So you know, I'm really excited, really excited to be back on the West Coast, be close to home, and, and play for this organization. Well, there's, more, there's more Raider fans in LA yeah, still yeah. than Ram and Charger <laughs> right. fans, no doubt. Yeah. Facts. But I gotta ask you a big one about the fans, because Eagle fans. Raider hey, fans, there are similarities. Hey, yeah, there, there are. are. Yes. As a matter of fact, I'd say that might be one of the biggest similarities. Yeah. What was it like to deal with the Eagle fans game day afterwards, critical or positive in your play? And now Raider fans, very similar. They're notorious is the word you hear a lot. They're mm -hmm. demanding. They're really smart. They're going to expect the best out of you. Yeah, you know, I've really – I've kind of learned to, uh, you know, block out the expectations that are outside of this building. Mm -hmm. Um you know, to me, the expectations that are the most important are the ones that are in this building. Because, um, you know, it's 
it's hard to see everything that's going on when you're not inside this building, mm -hmm. right? So, um, you know, I know the, the work that we put in as a team. I know the work that, that you know, that we put in together, what we strive for. Um, so, you know, I think those are the most important things um, to, to remember is just what's in the building is what is what matters most. Well, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Have a healthy year. Really excited Thank you're you. here. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.